Today, we are predicting week eight matchups in the NFL. First off, we have Thursday night football. Two teams that we're expecting doing great this year, but haven't been doing the best. Tom Brady struggling. It's probably time for them to retire, not gonna lie. I think this would be a real close game on Thursday night football. Close, good game. I don't see Tom Brady and that Buccaneers offense really doing anything against the defense. I don't know why they consistently try to throw. I know they're having trouble with the run. You have to play a two-dimensional game or it's not going to work. Your offense isn't going to move. I'm going to go with the Ravens here. One of these games are in London. Is it the Broncos and Jags in London, I think? But the Broncos are obviously a disappointing team. They've got a lot of stuff going on with Russell Wilson. I think he should be playing this week. The Jaguars haven't looked as bad as they've looked in past years, but isn't looking the best either. I think I'm going to have the Jags beating them. Next, we have the Patriots at the Jets. I thought the Patriots were looking good until last week against the Bears. They looked miserable. Mac Jones is supposed to be starting with Bailey Zappi come in halfway through the game with that quarterback controversy and the Jets actually looking good. I'm going to be choosing the Jets here. Titans at Texans, NFC South matchup. I really don't have to say anything to it. I'm going to choose the Titans. The Texans look like the worst team in football, to be honest. Browns and Bengals, that's Monday night. We have the Raiders at the Saints. The Raiders have been struggling. I don't really know why. I mean, Derek Carr has Devontae Adams now. you think he would look better, but he's kind of looking worse than last year, to be honest. The Saints are really, really bad, though. To be honest, I don't see Saints win another game this year, unless they play like the Texans or somebody like that. I'm going to choose the Raiders getting their second win of the year. The Steelers and the Eagles. I want Kenny Pickett to do good, but this is like what his third game or second game as a starter. So I don't think he's going to do that great. The Eagles are looking good right now. I mean, they haven't played any tough matchups for the people that they did play. They look good. So I'm going to pick the Eagles. Dolphins at the Lions. Tua Tungvaloa is back. So I do think, think the Dolphins will look good. It is against the Lions. So it's not much. We have the Washington Commanders at the Indianapolis Colts. Teams that that aren't looking very good. I'm not gonna lie. With Taylor Heineke starting, Washington Commanders did look different last week. It was against the struggling Packers, but with Carson Wentz playing, I really think they wouldn't have had the chance at all to win that. Oh yeah, Jacob Eason, right? Jacob Eason is starting for the Colts now and not Matt Ryan. So I'm gonna have to go with the Washington Commanders and Taylor Heineke. Bills and Packers, that's Sunday Night Football. We'll wait for that. Bears at the Cowboys. I mean, Bears did look good the last Monday night, but I mean, it's the Cowboys, which Dak didn't look that great either. If I had to pick one big upset, it would probably be this one. But I'm going to choose the Cowboys. The Cardinals at the Vikings. The Cardinals are just looking bad. I mean, De DeAndre Hopkins is back and him and Kyler Murray and that connection look very solid and very good. But I don't know if they can pull off the upset against the Vikings because the Vikings have been looking very good. I think this will probably be a close, close game, close matchup. I'm going to have to choose the Vikings. The Panthers at the Falcons. If the Bucks lose in Thursday night football, which I predicted them to, whoever wins here is in the lead in the NFC South. Just be crazy for the Panthers to win. The Falcons really don't pass the ball all that much. They just run. And the Panthers, minus week one, have been playing a good against the run. I think they'll control the line of scrimmage here, and that's a big deal in this game. I'm going to pick the Panthers. Giants at Seahawks. This is probably two of the most surprising teams in the NFL so far. I think this will be close. I think it'll be a high-scoring game as well. I'm going to pick the Giants here. I'm not picking against the Giants again. I've picked against the Giants too many times this year, and it's gone wrong. 49ers at the Rams. This honestly should have probably been prom time. Christian McCaffrey will probably have a full workload. Rams are struggling with injuries all on their offensive line. I think the 49ers win here and they've the 49ers completely own the Rams in the past couple of years as well. Packers at the Buffalo Bills Sunday night football. Bills easily. And on prom time Monday night football, Halloween night, we have the two orange teams going against each other. Is that was is that what like the theme was like Halloween night orange? I mean, I might have to pick the Bengals here. Joe Burrow looked absolutely crazy last week. Oh, I think he's getting in the groove. I think it's going to be a very dangerous team. And I really think they're going to make noise in the AFC playoffs. You know, if you think these picks are going to be right or not, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you guys out next time. Peace.